It's exciting to be part of Greenwich now because of the growth that I see, the spiritual growth that's taking place. Like God has blessed us richly and we're sharing that with others. Greenwich excites me uh, very much. I've been going to Greenwich for about 16 years and I, it's exciting to see the growth in Greenwich as far as uh, people's faith. Uh, I know my family, my daughter is 16 and we started coming right when I was pregnant with her and so just the growth uh, in my faith and my family's faith has been really exciting. Uh, it's exciting to see so many others. Uh, I grow in their faith and my relationship with Greenwich is like a warm hug. Uh, it gives, brings a smile to my face and it's warm and friendly. The future of Greenwich is uh, about what it always has been and that's uh, distributing God's Word and trying to bring more people to Christ and I think as long as we keep our perspective in God's eyes and not our eyes and not numbers but God's Word then we'll be successful. You know, I look forward to, to continuing to grow to Greenwich. Uh, I think that, um, you know, with the Lord's help, it'll help me to help me and my family to grow. Um, I think um, uh, the things I look forward to at Greenwich is uh, the growth. You know, the the new addition that's that's going on. Uh, you know, the building and everything, that type of thing. Since I'm a general contractor myself, um, and and meeting new people and and growing with my faith in God. The church has given witness uh, many times about the sense of heritage, uh, the sense of connection, the family closeness. Um, this church understands itself as a family. When people come to Greenwich, they feel like they're getting involved in a family. Uh, and that's the, the way we want it, uh, to make sure it doesn't move into an institutional feel. Uh, uh, as the church gets larger, we, we really hope uh, that it stays connected and has that small church feel. Greenwich has been in the process of growing for a number of years now and on the horizon all along has been the hope that there would be a, a new building that would come uh, to match the the growth that we've had in, in numbers of people that have started coming to the church over the last few years. I knew that coming into this church and uh, there's always been a lot of excitement and energy around it and uh, really great hopes for the future. Well we've, we've been a member here at Greenwich for about 25 years and so Greenwich has always been this lovely little uh, church in the in the wildwood so to speak um, and the key to Greenwich has always been the love of the people so it's exciting to see that love grow and to know that that's what we're building we're not building a building we're building the love of Christ and we're spreading that love um, to all the corners to the farthest corners of this world my great aunt and uncle Virginia and Bill Anderson um, came here to this church because they lived here in Noakesville while we were still living in Maryland and um, the first time I even visited here I was received with you know loving arms and warm friendliness and that's uh, really important to me because that's the way I am I'm a hugger I'm a greeter I'm a welcomer <laughs> and, I, and that just suited me fine but also the pastor gave a great message and you know I, I really enjoyed um, being here in the community and uh, the church family the family of God. And this is a praying church. I appreciate all the prayers that uh, recently that the dog was uh, lifted up on upon and appreciated that. And we've seen this church grow and we're looking forward to see it grow some more and especially side with the new facilities that they can spread out a little more. So that's a blessing to us too. Hopefully for everyone else. Comparing the size of Greenwich to uh, the other churches in our presbytery, about 110 churches in our national capital presbytery and we're uh, somewhere you know the 15th or 20, 20th largest uh, church but you wouldn't know it when you drive by you drive into the uh, parking lot you see the historic sanctuary you would assume this is a, a small congregation very close-knit as it is uh, but when people find out that we're nearly 550 members um, uh, they're they're surprised and so we've joked that uh, Greenwich 
uh, is either the biggest small church or it's the smallest big church we know. I'm not sure which it is, maybe it's a, a little bit of both of those. I think Greenwich has recognized a need uh, for added facilities for a long time. Uh, our programs are, are bursting at the seams. We have more kids than we can handle on Sunday mornings and at other times throughout the week. Uh, we've got uh, more ad adult classes that would like to be able to meet that are not able to simply because of space constraints. And um, we don't think that the only kind of growth is in numbers, but we've, we've been able to somehow uh, grow in spite of the fact that we have the limited resources in our education facilities and in our sanctuary uh, to be able to handle the folks that have come. And so um, it's really with uh, feeling a responsibility to the community that people uh, feel like this is their home and we need to be able to provide an opportunity for them to have a church home uh, here among us at Greenwich. We are having a number of uh, children being born. There's this baby boom that's going on. It's wonderful. We're, we're so thankful for the families, the young families that are experiencing the joy. Uh, of welcoming uh, uh, new ones into their home. Uh, we've had a, a number of baptisms in the last year of children and uh, it's a great joy for the family, uh, the church family. But now we, we routinely will have, you know, 10, 15, 20, uh, up as, as many as uh, 20 youth of our uh, junior and senior high in one of those smaller classrooms and uh, God bless our <laughs> Sunday school teachers who work with them and our, and our younger ones. Uh, sometimes we have to reassign uh, different age children to different classrooms because uh, we'll get like a bump, you know, a first graders become second graders become third graders and as they grow uh, there's a very large number of, of uh, the kids and so we're uh, the new design, the new building uh, does have uh, included uh, in the new ministry center and uh, with the sanctuary it has uh, adequate space for classrooms. Uh, the fellowship hall uh, in our new uh, building design expands uh, and is, is considerably larger uh, than what we have now. Uh, for those that have been at one of our uh, well-attended church meals, you know that sometimes we set up all the tables, we can seat about 125 somewhat comfortably. Uh, I think the design vision uh, continues to be good. It's to uh, allow the facility to grow, uh, to uh, welcome the, the larger church family, but not so large uh, that we either become a mega church. Uh, our goal is not to, uh, to become a mega church. Uh, it's to remain that close family. But that we can have facilities that are large enough so that on those big Sundays and those big events, uh, we can all be in the house uh, comfortably. We don't feel like we have to, uh, to be nudging people over too much uh, to find a seat, but that uh, they're also small enough uh, or intimate enough so that we can have that sense of connection. I've been in a Sunday school, Sunday school class that has been moved many, many times. And, um, I'm, I'm ready to settle down. Would you like to have a permanent room? Oh, yeah. Really? Get out of here, Herb. <laughs> now we are looking forward to the new program with the uh, expansion of the church. And um, I love the sanctuary, the smallness and the, the closeness of it. Um, but because we have such a, a growing family congregation, uh, we really do need to have more space for educational classes and so forth. So I'm looking forward to that and we're supporting that in our prayers and our financial gifts and in any way we can. I have handicapping conditions so I am really looking forward to the new facilities uh, and the ability to get around. We've talked about a new building for a really long time so that's very exciting. Uh, not so much because of the building but because of what it brings. Um, you know, our mission is to share faith, hope, and love in Jesus Christ, and the building brings that opportunity to grow that, and um, that's very exciting.